Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in this video I will show you how you can create bookmarks centrally at company level in G Suite and then you can obviously share these bookmarks either with some of your users or even all of your users in your G Suite organization. So let's take a use case here. If a new salesperson joins you, you know that this guy will need access to a few documents including uh, our product comparison sheet, our company presentation, uh, maybe our Google Docs uh, proposal template. So one way is to you know just uh, act uh, when whenever he comes up uh, with a need. Another way is to being proactive and creating uh, a folder, bookmark folder, where we can push all of these sales assets, and then we can share uh, this bookmark folder with all of the salespeople so that they can use it uh, whenever they need. And because this is managed centrally by a G Suite admin, these users can't delete uh, that folder or the bookmarks inside that. So let me show you how you can make that happen. First, you need to log into your G Suite admin console. If you haven't yet, simply go to admin.google.com, put in your admin ID and password, and once you are in, you will see this kind of screen and then you will need to click on this device management or you can simply click on this bar and then go to devices and under devices you will go to chrome management so what we are doing here is we will be creating a bookmark folder and we will populate that with a few bookmarks and then whenever someone logs in our user uh, with our company email address and password and links his profile these uh, th this folder will be pushed to that person's uh, Chrome profile so for that you will click on user settings because that's where we are gonna click the managed uh, bookmark folder and under that you can simply search for bookmark the way I did here and when you search here you will see this managed bookmark option where you can create a folder and then you can add links to this folder so before I go ahead and make that just a quick thing on the left hand side uh, you see these organizational units that you usually create to apply different set of policies on different containers or organizational unit so for example you will have a unit for let's say accounting people and you put policies that these people can access your accounting software and a couple of other things and then you put those accounting people inside these organizational unit whereas you might have some different policies for sales or marketing people and you create different organizational units for them and put them under them to apply those policies I hope that that context was uh, good enough okay so either you can create that managed bookmark folder on the top level which means all of the organizational units under it will have uh, the same folder or you can pick the organizational unit where you want to create this uh, folder and then you can just put your people there so for me let me just take you through that same uh, experience I'll go to directory I'll go to users and here I see all my uh, users and all my organizational units what I'm gonna do is I'll click here and I will say add sub organizational unit and let's call it sales org okay and then you can you know, give your uh, description whatever and then you create that organizational unit and now we have the sales organizational unit so now if I go back to my devices Chrome management and under Chrome management I'll go to user settings but this time instead of clicking on the top level folder or the organizational unit I'm gonna click on sales org so that this manage bookmark folder will be pushed only to people who are in sales organizational unit so let's go ahead and uh, put the manage bookmark folders name and let's call it uh, Goldies uh, let's say yeah let's call it Goldies company okay and then let's put the URL here so URL first one let's say put our company website uh, 
and then uh, name is let's say our website okay and then you click on this plus icon and then another one can be URL let's say I just opened this Google slide and let's take uh, maybe this one this is our company's presentation and uh, in the meantime let's take this spreadsheet which is already opened so I'll go ahead and click on file share just to make sure that it, it is uh, shared either with all the people or at least with the sales team that I'm creating this bookmark for so this sheet is shared with anybody in my domain I'll simply copy the link and I'll go back here and I will say here is the URL and the name is let's say product uh, comparison sheet okay I didn't get the spelling right but that's okay okay so and then you will click on this plus icon and the other one was our presentation let's assume that this is our sales presentation and we will copy this and we need to make sure that this is shared with the people who will access this bookmark paste it and let's call it company presentation do that and then now let's save it so now whoever is in the sales org will have access to this company's uh, bookmark folder now what I need to do is let's see I have this user PHI let's take this user and I am going to push this uh, user into the organizational unit which we just created so that was sales org so now this user is moved it says it's gonna take 24 hours to reflect the changes but let's see so the user is moved now uh, what I'm going to do is I will be signing in to my Chrome uh, with this new user so assume this is the sales user who is logging in to his account for the first time and Google will ask him to link his profile so that Google can sync everything like bookmarks history apps etc and then I'm gonna click on link data and then okay got it and as soon as that happens we will see managed bookmarks here and when I click on this managed bookmarks as a salesperson I see our website when I click on that I go to the address which we submitted let's go back and then we also see a couple of other bookmarks that we added and if I as a user if I try to delete it when I right click you see the dis delete uh, link is disabled same with managed bookmarks I can't even delete this folder because this is pushed by my G Suite admin I'm not sure why does it say managed bookmark I really should say the folder name however when I go to uh, bookmarks manager right I see the right folder name or maybe I'm missing something it's by design so here I see that folder so this is how you can you know create and manage your bookmarks centrally and obviously share it with all or some of your users hope it was helpful if you have any questions as usual please feel free to put your comments and i'll be happy to help thank you so much